wings. Work into a chain. First, make a slip knot like this. Put the hook into the loop and tighten the loop. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. A slip knot is made. In row one, work for chain stitches. Yarn on the hook, and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. Make a chain stitch. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Okay, that's a chain stitch. Such a V shape is one chain stitch. Continue to work three more chain stitches. Turn, skip the first chain, and work two single crochets, one slip stitch, one chain stitch. Skip the first chain, work two single crochets from the second chain. The hook will go through the left side of the chain, which are the back loops of the chains. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Yarn on the hook, pull it through both loops on the hook. That's one single crochet. Now we are going to make single crochets on the chain. First, work a chain stitch, yarn round hook, pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Then we skip the first chain and start to make single crochets in the back loops of the chain. Insert hook into the back loop of the second chain. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook now. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. Okay, one single crochet is done. Place a marker in the first single crochet. One more single crochet. Then work one slip stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. The slip stitch here will be counted as one stitch. It's different from the previous slip stitch, which serves as a connection. One chain stitch. Next, one chain stitch. Turn the fabric. In row two, work one slip stitch, one increase, one single crochet, and three chain stitches. 
skip the first chain here, which just serves as the beginning of this round. Working to the same stitch of the previous slip stitch to work one slip stitch. Mark this stitch. Mark the first single crochet. One increase. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. One single crochet. Remove the orange marker. Work into this marked stitch. Three chain stitches. In row three, turn the fabric, skip one chain, and work three single crochets, one increase, one single crochet, one slip stitch, and one chain stitch. Skip the first chain and work three single crochets. Place a marker in the first single crochet. Continue to work two more single crochets. One increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. One single crochet. One slip stitch. Remove the yellow marker. Work one slip stitch in this marked stitch. Okay. Finally, one chain stitch. In row 4, turn the fabric, skip one chain and work one slip stitch, two single crochets, one increase, three single crochets, and three chain stitches in turn. Let's start. Skip the first chain. Insert into the stitch of previous slip stitch to work one slip stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch. Choosing crochets.
Next, one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Next, three single crochets. Next, three chain stitches. In row five, turn the fabric, skip one chain, and work five single crochets, one increase, three single crochets, and a slip stitch in turn. Five single crochets first. Mark the first single crochet. Okay. Continue to work for more single crochets. Next, will increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Three single crochets. One slip stitch. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Okay. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail. Pull the yarn tail out. Remove the marker. One wing is done. Make one more in the same way. <laughs> 